<laughs> All right, Bonnie and Blip, why don't you guys tell us about freedom? Um, yes, we are going to talk about freedom. And we are both from about freedom, actually, and we are a cluster, and i got just going to shortly introduce you what we are, who we are and what we do. So first of all, we are about freedom. We are a cluster with a focus on digital, humans, and rights, and free software advocacy. About Freedom consists of politically active, non-commercial organizations and over the time we grew and now we have a child cluster named About Future. That's not actually written there, but that's the color for About Future. We have two colors, <laughs> red and green. So, and then there's the thing, we all focus on political change and as About Freedom, we focus on helping to empower people in their self-determined handling of technology. About Future has a focus on sustainability and social ecological transformation, particularly in the face of climate crisis, as it's also the motto for the Congress. We, are, we talked, it's a pretty good topic. Yes, we consist of different organizations, as I already mentioned. First of all, there's the C3S, which is a GEMA alternative, basically. And they found, were founded in 2013 and are aiming to become a pan-European collecting society for music. One of our core features is support for all six standard creative common licenses. In addition to standard copyright, the technology infrastructure is developed as free and open source software, mostly GPL and HGPL. Then we also have the PEP Foundation. Maybe some of, the, of you have already heard of it. It's <laughs> found it's, um, advocates privacy and the PEP engine, the Heifer engine, was developed for this purpose and drives several crypto standards on different digital channels. It shall ultimately restore privacy by default and PEP is engine is distributed as free software to support privacy for everyone. With that, PEP aims to restore the balance again in worldwide communications in favor of privacy and freedom in information. But we are also having some international organizations joining us. We have the EFF. Maybe some of you have already heard of it. They are aiming <laughs> for you <laughs> to create a world for you that you want to live in. For our grassroots activists inspire people to take action in their communities. Or le our legal team fights for our fundamental rights and freedoms in the courts, suing against overreaching laws and policies. And our team of technologists produce freedom enhancing software like Cerebrate for the World. We also have the FSFE, and for transparency, I work currently for the FSFE. So that's <laughs> the logo of the FSFE, the, that's the Free Software Foundation Europe. It's a charity that empowers users to control technology. Software is deeply involved in all aspects of our lives. And it is important that this technology empowers rather than restricts us. Free software gives everybody the rights to use, understand, adapt, and share software. These uh, rights help support our fundamental rights like freedom of speech, freedom of press, and privacy. There are also going to be some sessions regarding free software. On the second day, tomorrow so, there will be das Freie Software einmal eins at half past six in lecture room 11 and about public money, public code on day three at two o'clock in the Chaos Fest stage. Then we have Epicenter Works joining us. Epicenter Works tries to find ways forward based on human rights. We see ourselves as representatives of interest for basics and freedom rights. We stand up for our strong voices in civil society and we advocate for a responsible and reasonable management of the opportunities to risk technology. But there are also some others, like the Digital Gesellschaft Schweiz, which is, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't even really know what they are doing and I just locked my phone. <laughs> It's a terrible organization that is committed to fundamental and human rights and open knowledge culture, as well as the transparency and participation in dis social decision-making processes. We also have Gesellschaftsrechte für Freiheits Gesellschaft für Freiheitsrechte. I don't know if you have heard of the founder of them. Um, okay, then I, they have a podcast, Lager der Nation. So I introduce them. They're a Berlin-based non-private NGO founded in 2015. Its mission is to establish a sustainable structure for successful strategic legislation in the area of human and civil rights in Germany and Europe. GFF's longer-term mission is to help protect and strengthen human and civil rights in general by legal means, thus permanently improving human and civil rights law all over Europe. We also have some YAUF organizations. They are actually also having a band 
that will play in the About Freedom cluster tonight at 10 o'clock. It's called um, Systemabsturz. They are doing post-punk something. No, something like punky thingies with electronic music as well. So if you want to show up there, it will be really fun. Their YAF organization and their initiative for data protection and informational self-determination with political actions and parties, we critically, critically bring the subject of surveillance to the public. They also have some really funny actions that they, that they took, like standing in front of the parliament and standing around them at Südkreuz, I think, with all these cameras on their head, so they are a fun group. So if you want to have a look at them, come to our cluster about freedom and you find them there. We also have Crypto Party. They are going to have a session on day four from one o'clock to three in lecture room 11. So if you ever wanted to know how to encrypt an email, you can come there and they will help you and show you how to do this. That's basically what they do. And we also have Datenschmutz. Datenschmutz um, is also working with Rote Hilfe. And Rote Hilfe is a paralegal organization helping people who get into legal trouble because of progressive activism. While Datenschmutz is watching computer use by German authorities, mostly policy, and help people with freedom of information requests to them. We also have Inf Amnesty International, Menschenrechte in Digital and Zeitalter, that works increasingly on human rights in the digital age. And last but not least, for the About Freedom, we have FIF, that's the Forum InformatikerIn für Frieden und Gesellschaftliche Verantwortung. And that's a German-wide association founded in 1984 of about 700 people who critically examine the effects of the use of computers, so science and information and technical technology on science. Yes, and now Blip is going to introduce you very shortly the people from About Future. So about now you heard about like the classical about freedom organizations, uh, the new subcluster about future is about socio-ecological transformation, the climate crisis, and there we give place to several organizations that work in this space. For example, Bits and Bäume, which is basically a label that is used by a lot of events that uh, work around um, digital sustainability. It was a conference in 2018. Um, we have C3 SUS, which is the sustainability orga team of C3 events. For example, we organize tap water dispensers for angels. Computer Werk is a charity taking hardware donations, installing free software on laptops and giving them away for people that cannot afford computers. BUND Jugend is the youth, uh, youth organization of BUND, which is like a big German um, ecological organization pushing for policy change to protect the environment. I guess you all know Fridays for Future and their climate strikes. They are here as well. There is one spontaneous climate strike today on Congress at 9.45 starting at our cluster. So please come by. And there is another official um, Fridays for Future demonstration on Sunday, day three, in the city center at 11 a.m. So from your sleeping place, just go directly to the demonstration and then come to Congress. Developers for Future are supporting the Fridays for Future and all the other for Future organizations with IT infrastructure, but also like giving talks and uh, educational material about how to make IT greener. Extinction Rebellion is a group that uses civil disobedience to make it clear that the climate crisis is a real problem. Then we have uh, the German network for effective altruism. Effective altruism tries to use uh, reason and science to determine how to do good in the most uh, effective and efficient way. So go talk to them about rationality, less wrong, cognitive biases. Then we have a Konzeptwerk Neue Ökonomie with, uh, who think about alternative economic models, post-growth. They give talks about that, workshops. They um, try to network with other organizations in that field. 
And finally, Roundtable uh, Repair is pushing for political change to est uh, establish a right to repair such that we, well, produce less electronic waste. And then there is the Hackers Against Climate Change group called HUC, which um, was founded last year during Congress, which is like hackers that want to use technology to visualize the problem of climate crisis, use public data, but also try to make software more sustainable. And they also have an experiment at our cluster, the CO2 Always. experiment. Yes. So you should definitely come by and have a look at this one. Yeah, learn about the Treibhouse effect, like translated to English, please. <laughs> um, so that was all. Uh, we have uh, a Twitter account and, of course, a Fediverse account because this is much more sustainable than a central Twitter service. So um, check that out. Um, so we have the Fridays for Future demonstration, 9.45, and at 10 p.m., a concert Tonight. by uh, Systemabsturz. Thank you very much. Come check us out. We have a huge space with uh, sofas and everything. It's in CCL. Oh, that's actually a good so question. <laughs> CCL, this direction, same level. Um, it's yeah. directly next to the info desk at Mehrzweckfläche 3 bis 4. And there is also the Sendezentrum. Between those, we are. Here are the bones with the couches. Yeah, I was going to ask about that, where you guys were located, because uh, I don't think you said. For those who didn't catch it, sorry, let me, let me so that everyone can see my lovely face on the stream. Uh, for those who didn't catch it, they are their own cluster. They are not a part of us. We don't want to be associated with them any further than them being on this. I'm just kidding. You guys are our best friends. They, they actually have several talks um, coming up on our stage over these next few days. So be sure to be here for all of those. These all sound very fascinating about the sustainability of the future and the present and stuff. So I, for one, am looking forward to that. So you guys, you guys are welcome anytime. Please go visit their cluster. Um, they're going to have some great stuff. Um, maybe not quite as good as us, but you know, we, we are the highest standard. So thank you guys so much for everything, uh, for letting us know about that. Actually, I actually might go and like I can't leave this cluster because I, I work here. So, but I, I may sneak off to see you guys because you're really cool. Okay, let's give them a great big hand. Thank you guys so much.